we'll do is we'll quickly take a, a scheme. So this is the section where you see all the uh, uh, mutual fund uh, companies. So you could choose. No, the other part of it is cut. It's not visible. Okay, can I use this? So if I choose ICICI Prudential, it lists all schemes of ICICI in the drop down below. So from here, I can pick and choose any funds. Let's say I selected Focus Blue Chip Equity. I can click on Add to add it to my active list. And if I want to compare this scheme against the category to which it is assigned to, I could click on Add Scheme and Sector. So this way, I get to see that this is a assigned to equity large cap category. Yeah. And if I want to look at indices, I can choose from the group of indices available here. So I'm just going to choose uh, BAC Sensex and click on Add. So now I, ha I have three instruments selected on my active list. So either you select a fund and you start your research, or you use various filter tools to add your criteria, come up with a list of funds suitable, and include them into your research. So for every fund, we have a fact sheet. So you can click on the fact sheet icon here to view that. So this uh, consists of four tabs, sorry, five right now. So where you see the summary of the scheme, the investment objective, ratings, latest price, uh, the purchase information, the fund manager's information, followed by performance. So this compares the performance of the scheme against the category average with some standard tables in the bottom. get into breakdowns. So breakdowns is where you see the holdings of a particular scheme. So you get to see the top 10 holdings. And you can click on the link here to view the complete holdings, concentration analysis, sector split, region, asset split is available. We have recently added the historical breakdown tab where you can see sand charts of how is the historical movement of AUM, which is the first chart, the top 10 sector movements historically, region and asset allocation is given here. So this could be converted to a PDF. So you could either go for a summary fact sheet, which is a one pager, or a detailed fact sheet, which will contain all the tabs that I've shown you now. So likewise, there is also a fact sheet for your entire category. So now I want to see, analyze the large cap category on the whole then I can look at the fact sheet of that by clicking on the button here. So this gives uh, an overview of this uh, category. So there are about 73, 73 schemes in this uh, category with 32 AMCs managing them. And you get to see the top performing funds over one year, three year, five year period, bottom performing funds over one year, three year, five year, most volatile, least volatile quickly. The performance tab here is the average performance of the category. So you see how the entire category has performed historically and how volatile the category has been. So we see these periods, it's been highly volatile and now the volatility has reduced with top schemes by fund size and sharp ratio in the bottom. Followed by members. So this will list all the 73 schemes of the particular category. Along with it, you get to see the VR rating, six months to five year returns, one year and three year volatility. Then you have the breakdown summary, which is the uh, average breakdown holdings of or the holdings of all the uh, funds within this category. So now we'll move into uh, move on to some charts. Uh, there are many charts available, so we will only look at uh, key ones. Uh, let's, let's say uh, I want to analyze the 
category of large cap funds. So we can get into a scatter chart. There are two types. I'm going to choose the interactive scatter chart. I can choose a period of analysis. If you notice for a category, I will have two tick boxes. The second tick box is to view all the members of this particular category without having to select them on the active list. So in the scatter chart here, I see my x-axis is volatility or risk, and y-axis is performance. So what am I doing here? I am actually seeing how various schemes are distributed, comparing their risk and return in one chart. So usually we do it by taking the returns, then take the risk, rank the returns, then look at whether the risk is high or low. The whole thing could be done within one chart here. So I can see that there are various, these are the different schemes available in this category. And maybe I'd be interested to know this particular scheme here. What's this? So it's given the highest return with low risk within this category. So if I highlight that, so I see it is the BNP Paribas equity scheme. So similarly, I could also see, uh, uh, if I want to check where is ICICI, I could go to the bottom of the page and choose the focus blue chip scheme. It gets highlighted in my report. So I get to see both the risk and return in one chart here. This can also be used to identify what are the schemes that are highly risky but still are not giving enough uh, returns. So we'll get into some tables, performance table. Again, say if I want to uh, analyze the entire category, I could uh, choose tables. There are standard templates already in place. You could use them. If you want to create your own reports or tables, that could be done using the uh, report builder. show it uh, from the point of view of how to draw the list of recommendations or how to analyze existing portfolios vis-a-vis -vis new recommendations. Uh, yes. Okay. So uh, if, if you want to come up with the best performing fund within the large cap, I mean, there cannot be, need not be just one fund, or a group of large cap funds that you could include it into your recommendations, then what you would do is one, scatter chart can help you to identify that. Number two, a performance, a simple performance table. Uh, I'm just going to choose all schemes in the large cap category and click on go. So what you see is it's included all the 73 schemes and it gives me the latest one month, three months up to 10 year returns in one table. I could click on the headers to sort them ascending order, descending order. So here I see, when I look at the one year performance, I see, I see Prudential top 100 equity is doing well here. Well, I just don't, do not want to look at the one year performance. I want to see how the scheme is performing uh, the entire one month to 10 year period, uh, whether it's consistently performing or not. So what I could do, I could add a rank column. So this includes rank. And you could also see the quartile highlights together. So what this does is, this will actually uh, break the uh, uh, scheme's performance or, or the entire group into four sets. And it shows us the color codes. The legend is in the top. So all that is in blue is in first quartile, followed by green, yellow, and pink. So we look for schemes where there are there is consistent blue or, you know, quartile, it's in the first quartile. So I could look at those schemes and add it to my active list. Let's say I had this, I had the SBI Magnum Equity, IDFC's fund, So this is a way you could, I clicked on these green buttons to add these funds to the active list. So if I move to my main page, 
I'll see that these funds are already in my active list. So now I could do other charts, tables, reports for these particular funds. So this is how you select key schemes from categories. So if I want to do the analysis on any other category, I could choose a category from here. It could be liquid funds, it could be any funds, and analyze each category separately. Okay. Uh, the other way to come up with uh, best performing funds is to use the filter builder. So I can click on the filter builder here. There are a lot of filters available. Let's say you are looking at the, um, you want to look at the large cap and mid cap category. So choose large and mid cap. So before I could add, you can see that there are totally 1,720 schemes cu currently available in this universe. So I can click on the sector equity large cap and mid cap, which adds it here. And now it filters it down to 62 schemes out of 1,720. Out of these schemes, I could say uh, I would only want to look at schemes where the fund size is greater than, let's say, 1,500 crores. So you can click on Add. So there are only 55. And you could also say, I'm only, I, I only want to look at schemes of certain AMCs. So you could choose the fund houses and click on Add. Or it could be the performance over last, uh, say, three years, uh, annualized basis should say at least 10 percentage. You click on Add. So there are only 20 schemes. Then it could also be the value research rating. So you can choose VR rating and say, should at least be four stars and above, click on add. So it keeps filtering funds and at any time you can click on show results to see these funds. So now we see that these are the 17 schemes wherein I all large cap and mid cap with fund size greater than uh, 1500 crores, performance over three years is greater than 10 percentage on annualized basis and the ratings are four stars and above. Other filters that you could use can also be at the fund manager level. I do not want to look at schemes where there is a lot of shift in fund manager or uh, say where I want to look at schemes where the fund manager stayed with the fund for at least two years, for three years, or it could be on, at the asset level. I want to look at funds where the cash holding is less than 10 percentage or equity holding is at least 70 percentage and above. So you could use all these filters available here to come up with the set of funds. Okay, for paucity of time, can mm. we move to how the IFA could readily use this software to do effective recommendations? Mm. Like, uh, if as an IFA, I have to draw up my monthly sales list mm. of recommended funds under the various categories. So, could you just give us an example of drawing up a list of, say, short term debt funds? I mean, it could be equities also for uh, all it matters. So, if I have to build up portfolio filter yes that is one way that you uh, showed us the next could be if you are uh, showing us how to analyze that a client has existing say three or five SIPs going and I want to analyze whether all the funds are doing well say over the last five years because we've had experience of lots of customers complaining that their SIPs have completed 60 months and yet they don't seem to get any performance. So right. we could take an example of five funds, show the historical performance and take another five funds where we can show them that look, these are better performing funds and had we been invested there, it's not that the four years has been bad for everybody. Right. Uh, yeah, SIPs can also be done in uh charts. So you could choose the funds that you're recommending and you could also choose funds, let's say I uh, choose JM Financials or Equity. It could also be you can choose a, an index too. And uh, under charts we have something called as regular savings and withdrawals. So here if I choose savings, I can enter my period. It could be one year, two year, three years and select whether it's a monthly SIP, quarterly or yearly, and choose uh, the date, so it could be say first of every month, and regular investment of 1000. Now if I do this and click on go, it's going to give me the SIP chart comparing all the investments I have selected. 
So you can see total 1, uh, 12,000 invested over the last one year. What is the value in each of these funds as of today? It's, it's available here. And you can see how the value has been changing regularly. So this way you can show. But you can take this data back to four years. Yeah. Because yes. uh, if you see, we are in 2012. 2008 is when the crisis uh, set in. Right. And uh, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, volatility in fund performances during this period. Okay, I've selected funds which have not existed for four years, so I'll... He's just taking a list of funds which have a vintage of that relevant period. Okay. Can increase the tenure? Yeah. So here it gives the total investment at the top and the period of investment. And you can see what is the value of those investments today. Say 48,000 in JM equity today is 45,000. So it's less than the actual investment. So what is the value in other funds is given in the uh, legend. So you can see in SBI Magnum Equity, it's 57,000. So this is the value of your investment today. And on regular basis, how this has changed can also be viewed. So the same thing could be viewed even for withdrawals. Yeah. And in the same context, if you could also choose, for example, from the universe of uh, value funds or dividend yield funds yes. over a four, uh, same four-year period, can we contrast the performance yes. of such chosen yes. funds vis-a-vis uh, -vis these funds? Yes. What we are essentially trying to highlight is many a time we face this question from clients. They tell us that, look, I've been investing in SIPs for now a fairly long period of time and my money does not seem to be growing. So if we are able to demonstrate to clients that, look, it is not necessarily that all investments within the universe are doing badly, I think we'll be able to show them what are the alternate and better options available to them?